countdown is on. We are 24 hours away from Hamilton hosting the Grey Cup when the Thai Cats take on the Winnipeg Bombers. And while the players and fans may be ready, the crew behind the scenes is still working around the clock. Sean uh, Cowan joins us live from Tim Hortons Field with that side of the game. Sean, what's it like down there? Well, right now uh, it's a little bit chilly. The winds have picked up, but as far as the field, the lights are on behind me here. A lot of people in the neighborhood are walking around, taking in some of the sights uh, before tomorrow's game. I would imagine that a lot of people that are still working behind, behind me here, their main job is to make sure nothing blows away. Tomorrow, almost 24,000 people will pack into Tim Hortons Field. It is a sold out game, but in order for the game to happen, there's a hard working crew that's off the field. Hopefully we win, we'll make it all, all worthwhile, right? Jerry Fonzo is the senior director of stadium events with the Thai Cats, which basically means he's in charge of everything behind the scenes for tomorrow's game. We have the stadium crew going, getting the field ready to go. The painters are getting on site. Um, the city's doing their part as well to make sure that the place is safe and clean. And operationally, everything's just getting put in place, so we're ready to host a lot of fans tomorrow night. Between three and 400 staff and volunteers have been working in and around the stadium for about a week now to make sure the Grey Cup can happen on Sunday. Can I follow the signs? Thank you. Thank you. My job is today is to make sure everybody's double vaxxed, um, comes in, signs in, rather they have a tag that says that they're a volunteer, what they are. Some of the jobs include security guards, kitchen staff, swag shop employees, stage crew for the halftime show, field maintenance, and even volunteers to open and close the gates. Oh, well, who wouldn't want to be out here with an event like this? Uh, I'm a sport management student at Brock University, so the opportunity to gain as much experience as possible, looking at the behind the scenes aspects of running an event quite like the Grey Cup. Hamilton won the Grey Cup bid two years ago. Preparations really started about six to eight months ago, but for the past three weeks, it's been go time. A big team here at the stadium side, so a um, lot of long hours, but you know, we have, a, we have a big game ahead of us and we're excited. And for tomorrow's game, the number of staff and volunteers on hand will more than double. It will take close to a thousand people at Tim Hortons Field to make game day happen. So a lot of jobs here at Tim Hortons Field and one of the top jobs is the executive chef. I spoke with her earlier today and she's not only in charge of all of the food here, she's also in charge of feeding all of the Thai Cats players. So uh, we do all the food and beverage service in the building. Um, so that includes players meals for both teams. Um, so breakfast and lunch for Thai Cats five days a week. Um, big, big big eaters um, and then we have 30 suites on the level above us we have the club that holds 12, 1200 people and then all the concessions in the building but we fe we fed the Thai cats since Tuesday what do they like to eat <laughs> um, so if you ask them what they want to eat they will always say chicken fingers which makes me crazy because we make some really good food for them and they want chicken fingers out of a box um, but they're pretty partial to you know really um, really heavy duty proteins uh, chicken pretty much every day plus another one um, could be meatloaf could be lasagna could be meatballs So obviously a very important job to make sure the team is fed well so they can perform well tomorrow. Kelly.